good. Hey, I'm Mark Lambert with Sweet Swine of Mine Distributing. We're here in the Sweet Swine Test Kitchen, and we're injecting a brisket tonight. And it's coming up on Thanksgiving and Christmas. You guys are gonna think about injecting your turkeys, your prime rib, your tenderloin, your brisket, all those things. And we wanted to show you uh, the BDI injector. This is a nice injector for small volume. Uh, we've got lots of things we use for whole hog and pickling, heavier volume, but this is perfect for just small volume like a brisket or a turkey or a chicken, a prime rib. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, when you get it, uh, the needle just make sure that it's tight on the end and your needle's attached to the end. Uh, your hose is attached here. The great thing about the BDI injector is that you don't contaminate your liquid. So our liquid is here and initially we're going to put our needle in here and we're going to prime it. As you can see, slowly it's pulling the liquid around and it filled the sight glass and the hose with liquid instead of air. And that's what we're looking for to prime it. So once we start injecting, we don't have to put the needle back in. That's a nice thing. So you don't contaminate your liquid with raw meat uh, by going back and forth into your liquid. So you can save this and use this another time. We've got a, um, a Creekstone Prime brisket here, and we're going to cook this tomorrow on our new uh, offset stick burner, uh, do a little bit of testing. We've got some Cosmos Smokehouse Reserve blend brisket injection ready. Uh, added a little bit of beef broth, a little bit of water. Real simple. So we're gonna inject this brisket. We're just gonna do a grid pattern. We wanna make sure we get nice, even coverage all the way across, and you'll notice it's in the bag. Uh, we do that because sometimes when you inject a brisket, uh, it, the injection follows the grain and it squirts everywhere. So it's just a little cleaner. So we'll inject this. We're gonna let it sit overnight. Then we'll take it out tomorrow, uh, lightly trim it for what we're doing. We're just gonna trim it up just a little bit. Um, we're gonna let it sit overnight in the bag with the injection in it. So you can see, we're gonna go in here in a grid pattern. And as I inject a little at a time, I'm probably only depressing about halfway. And I'm injecting about a half a pump in each little spot. And I'm going kind of a little past the middle. And I've got it meat side up, so the fat's gonna stop it on the other side. And you notice I go in, and as I inject, I pull out. And that gives me a little bit better coverage all the way through this brisket. And you also notice that it's not squirting the camera, and that's the nice thing. When you're injecting brisket, it's very easy to make a mess and squirt injection everywhere. You notice we're not having to reinsert our needle, refill the needle, this is going really quickly. And this brisket is just getting pumped up with this really good injection. And if you don't do it a lot, yeah, your hand gets tired. <laughs> it just happens. And if you put the needle, if you put it on the bottom, then sometimes it will uh, pull a suction on the bottom. So make sure and keep it elevated there. Sometimes you hit a fat pocket. You, you see kind of how, how I hesitated a few times. It's kind of hard to push, and that's probably because I hit a fat pocket, and it's hard to push that injection through that fat pocket. Go right through the center here. Then we'll go down the side. I'm putting a lot of injection in this today, y'all. Normally, I probably wouldn't put but about half of this, which is about 16 ounces, but uh, we don't have anything else to do except bathe a little bit of some short ribs we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave a little bit just to do the short ribs with. As I get down here to this point, but there's a lot more fat, it gets harder, you see that? And I'm done. So, great thing about it is uh, I'm gonna pull this out here, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this injection. Just kinda move it around. And I've used all the injection in here, and everything that's in this cup is still nice and clean. And I don't have to worry about being able to keep it or contaminate it or what was in it, whether it was chicken in it or what it was beef, or regardless of what I'm injecting, this is still clean, and my injection is in here in the bag. Now, Cosmos has a little bit of phosphate in it. Phosphate is just a yield enhancer, and what that means is it helps hold moisture after it's cooked. So you can cook it to higher temperature and your meat still be more moist. So it's super tender, but yet still moist. So there's a little phosphate and a little beef flavoring in there. 
Uh, but the main thing is, is that we've got to give this at least two hours to sit to make sure that the phosphates activate and hold on to the, mus the, the muscle will hold on to the moisture better. So it's going to get overnight and we're going to throw it on the pit tomorrow and we're going to have some awesome brisket. So for the holidays, you guys get you a BDI injector. Go to Sweet Swan of Mine Distributing. It's SSOMD.com. They are about uh, 40 bucks. Uh, you can buy extra needles if you need, but if you take care of this, all we have to do later is just flush it out with some fresh water and hang it out and let it dry. And this thing will last you. I've had the same one for, this is a new one, but I've had the same one in the comp trailer for about six years now. So uh, get you a BDI injector. It'll help your injecting for the holidays and make you a whole lot better uh, product in the end. And save your injection. We don't get sick later on. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And God bless you. Thanks for watching.